like to use this recording to talk about two new construction methods created in Autodesk Fusion 360 in the past few months. Plane along a path and point along a path. The path can be anything, including this line which I sketched to make this loft. It can be an edge of a model. It can be any straight edge, any straight line. Let's move the end apart marker back and see the line. It is 12 inches long and it started at the end at the bottom. As you see, it's 12 inches. Start at the bottom. That makes a difference. Let's go to the first plane along the path. Let's edit the plane. And you'll see that it's at the very end of it, which is 1 proportionally, or a distance physically of 12 inches. You can drag it at any point you want, either by physical distance or by proportion. Go ahead and drag to the end. You'll see I have four planes. I'm going to go ahead and add a plane between these two. Go to plane along a path, pick on the path, and then add it to any point I want. I'm going to use proportionally at point two. I'm then going to put a sketch on that. Turn around a little bit so I can see it better. I'll put a circle of three and a half inches. Finish my sketch. I'll then add that to my loft by editing the feature. Pick on that plane and I now see that's number five ahead of number four. I want to rearrange that. So I pick on number five and change the order to number four. And you can see it changes the shape radically. Let's make that construction plane visible like the others and go ahead and modify its location. Let's move it down to point one to modify the shape of the loft. So you can see the plane along a path makes quick order or pick work of making a loft. Another example of using a loft along a uh, path is if I wanted to make a crane hook. Now I have two arcs here. I need to make planes along form a path on my hook to draw each profile. This will be a very difficult process in the old method, but with plane along a path it's very simple. Just simply click the path and position it where you want, either proportionally or by physical distance. I have all my planes. I really don't need to add one. Let's go ahead and make this loft. So we'll go to loft, pick on my profiles in order from top to bottom. I made an error there. I need to do it back and pick that again because I picked a point instead of a profile. Profile, 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 not a point but a profile, and then a point at the end. Now I need to adjust this along the center line. So I pick my center line as being this curve right there. I've got a sharp end on it, so I need to modify that last point. I need to change it to a point tangent. Make a tangency of two to make it a lot smoother. Say OK, and I have my law. I'm going to go ahead and finish it by doing an extrusion from the first down to this feature. And so I'm done. Now at any time I can go back and change my profile by editing the feature and moving that plane anywhere I want and updating. So as you can see, plane along a path is very convenient for this process. As I mentioned, you can have any edge or line for this command, to use this command, plane along a path. If I pick along that edge, I can put it anywhere I like. I can then use this for splitting, sketching, or whatever I need on my model. The same is true for a point along a path. Any edge or line will work. Even one that has a radius, you can go around the whole length of it at any point you want and add a key point. These points can be used then to create special planes or any other sketch you need. I hope this helped you understand construction using plane along a path or point along a path and hope they help you make better models. Thank you.